Hey everyone, Jeff Nelson here on the beach in Mexico. Today I got an email from Yale, my old alma mater, uh, with the headline that immediately grabbed me. It said, consuming less cysteine can burn fat to induce weight loss. And it describes a study that showed that mice lost 30% of their body weight in just one week. And they were still eating a high fat diet and they only lost fat, they didn't lose any muscle. So what did the researchers do? Well, they removed the amino acid cysteine from their diet, and that result, it, it shocked even the scientists. So let's break down what's going on here and what this could mean for people who are trying to lose weight, especially on a whole food plant-based diet. Now, let me say that I oppose animal research. I don't like studies on mice or any other animal. First, it's cruel. Uh, and then, you know, a study on an animal may have a totally different result than what would happen to a person. But animal studies, you know, they are used often in research, like, you know, a billion people took booster shots based on a study done on eight mice. So that means the public puts a lot of stock in these animal studies. And anyhow, I think it's okay to talk about studies that people have done rather than, you know, putting my fingers in my ears and going, la, 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 I'm not going to talk about it. So what did this study find? It found that cysteine, which is a sulfur containing uh, amino acid found in lots of high protein foods, especially in meat, in eggs and dairy and soy, in nuts. And in this study, the researchers used a synthetic, uh, precisely controlled diet in mice, and they completely removed cysteine from their diet and the results were quite dramatic the mice burned fat like crazy white fat turned into brown fat or brown like fat and brown fat burns calories instead of storing them the body burns brown fat to create heat and even though these mice ate a high fat diet they still lost weight and they lost it very rapidly and that surprised the researchers normally a high fat diet leads to weight gain, but removing just one amino acid flipped a metabolic switch. So what is going on and what was the mechanism? Well, cysteine plays a role in maintaining redox balance and producing glutathione, which is a key antioxidant. And when cysteine levels drop, uh, the body compensates by shifting metabolism. So this includes activating brown fat thermogenesis, uh, increasing energy expenditure, reducing inflammation. In other words, removing cysteine put the body into a fat burning mode without even changing the calorie intake or the fat intake. And this aligns with human research as well. The, in the study Calorie 2, a trial, people who reduced calories by 15% over two years saw lower cysteine levels and improved metabolic markers. So it's not just about calories, amino acid intake, especially sulfur containing ones like cysteine, can affect how the body stores and holds on to fat and how it chooses to burn fat. So how might this apply to human diets? Well, humans obviously can't and shouldn't remove cysteine completely. It's a semi-essential amino acid and your body makes it as well, uh, but we can reduce it. We can reduce it through smart dietary choices. And here's where a whole food plant-based diet shines. Most animal products are high in cysteine, but plant foods tend to have less. So if you're eating a low fat, plant-based diet centered on whole foods, you're already ahead. And to go further and lower your cysteine levels even more, you focus on starchy vegetables, potatoes, sweet potatoes, corn, focus on fruits and leafy greens, and non-starchy vegetables like squash, mushrooms, and zucchini. Whole grains uh, with lower protein content are good, like brown rice and quinoa, although you want to eat those in moderation because those foods actually have higher cysteine levels. Definitely minimize soy products like tofu and tempeh. Minimize legumes like black beans and lentils and chickpeas. You can, you can have some, but limit them. You don't have to eliminate them, but they're higher in, in cysteine. Avoid nuts and seeds, especially sunflower seeds and sesame and chia seeds very high in, in cysteine. Avoid protein powders of any kind. So you're not, you're not avoiding protein entirely, you're just reducing the richest sources of cysteine to let your body shift toward that fat burning state. 
I'm going to put a link to the article so you, and to the study so you can check it out. I'll put that in the description. But what's the big idea here? The Yale study shows that removing or reducing just one amino acid, cysteine, can activate powerful fat-burning mechanisms in the body. And while we can't, you know, mimic that mouse diet exactly, we can get closer to it by reducing high cysteine foods. Uh, embracing calorie and protein moderation and focusing on a low-fat, whole-food, plant-based way of eating. If you hit a plateau or you're just starting to lose, starting on your weight loss journey, this could be a key piece of the puzzle. So to review, focus on starches, potatoes, sweet potatoes, corn, rice, oats. Uh, focus on fruits and greens and non-starchy vegetables. These are foods that are high in fiber low in calorie density and low in protein, especially cysteine, and minimize soy products like tofu and tempeh. Minimize beans and lentils. You don't have to cut them out completely, just reduce them if weight loss is your goal. Avoid nuts and seeds, especially as they say sunflower seeds, chia seeds, sesame seeds, and avoid whole grains with higher protein like wheat and oats. Absolutely skip those protein powders. They're highly concentrated in cysteine. All right, that's it. If you found this helpful, give it a like, subscribe for more evidence-based health content, and let me know in the comments if you want to sample low cysteine meal plan, uh, you know, or more information on this topic. Thanks for watching. Into the ocean. See you next time.